guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle. And for those of you that are new here, welcome to our channel. My name is Jesse. And we're Moms on Crime. On this channel, we talk about all things true crime and paranormal. Today, Jesse has a story for us. What are we talking about today, Mama? Yes. So we have another story, but before we jump into our story, um, if you guys haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. That way you guys can hang out with your favorite moms twice a week. All right, so let's jump in our, into our story. Um, today we are going to talk about Wallace Souza. Um, he is from Brazil. So I don't know if any of you are familiar. But um, Wallace Souza, he was born on August 12, 1958 in Manaus. I think that's how you say it. It's in, um, in Amazona, Amazonas. Um, so he went to college. He's very well educated. He was married and um, he had four kids. So um, we're not going to go into details during like his early life, but in 1979, he was a police officer. But um, in 1987, he was fired after he got arrested for um, pension fraud and patrol theft. So I don't know how that really works. Like, was he stealing? gasoline patrol but um yeah. after he got fired yeah mm. he began um having like a tv show so that was back in 1989 um he started presenting this tv show called canal libre so um in this TV show, it's a it's a TV program described like it's like a true crime um, theme. So um, it's also described as um, investigative journalism about fighting crime, social injustice, police chase, raids, arrests, murders, and all that stuff. And he would show them. So he would have like a crew of like reporters. And they would go to the crime scene and they would report it and they would talk about it in his show. In his show, you know, they also have like dancing girls, puppets. So it's like a news slash like entertainment or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in 1998, he went into politics and then he was elected in 2000 to the Legislative Assembly of Amazonas. So then his TV ratings went up, you know, off the roof, and he became very, very popular because everybody loved his TV show. Like, oh my gosh, this guy is showing us the real thing, like real murders on the street. Like, we know what's going on and everything, you know? And they also said, like, um, in that town, Manaus, like violence is very common you know there's a lot of like drugs and just murders and stuff happening and they love this guy because he is showing the people what's really going on right so the more popular he got the more enemies he gained as well so then some of the enemies you know they're like hmm He's a little suspicious, you know, why is his TV show, you know, why is it always number one and everything? So back mm -hmm. in 2009, Souza attracted more media attention when he was accused of hiring a hitman to kill people for ratings. So that's why he was very, very popular. What? Yeah. So that he would have like ratings. It oh. kind of reminded me of that movie. Um, what is it? Nightcrawler. Where Jake Gyllenhaal was in. If you guys haven't seen it. I'm not going to give you guys any spoilers. But it was a, it's a really, really good movie. So you guys. I want to check it out. Oh. Yeah. And also authorities oh. alleged. That Sosa stu like, stood almost $25 million a month drug ring. So he was involved with drugs at the same time. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, after that oh. accusations and stuff, so people grew more suspicious because 
they noticed like, oh yeah, that's right. His team is always the first one on the scene, sometimes even beating the cops or the paramedics. So his TV reporters would always be there at the scene before the cops even arrive. Oh and there's this, there's this one um, incident too, one of his reporters. So they went to the scene because there's a victim that was burned alive. So the guy got there and he was all reporting and stuff. And he's like, so we are here at this place. Um, behind me is a guy that got burned and it's a, it's a male that got burned, no stab wounds, no gun shots, and he was burned with gas. And they're like, how could he know that just by possibly looking at the victim? You know, yeah. like even like experts or the paramedics would have to do examinations in order to identify whether the victim is male or female. Yeah. So that's, yeah. And his Jeez. reporters even said sometimes, you know, like we would get a phone call from the station coming from Sosa saying, go to this place, there's a victim, and then they would describe what happened. So they would go over there right away and then they would just start reporting. So <gasps> they never ask any questions or whatever. So they thought, you know, they have somebody telling them these places or whatnot and they were just reporting so um yeah and that got confirmed when his hitman moa they call him um moa i i think his name is moa moa sir jorge but they call him moa um he used to be a cop a former police officer and he was hired to kill people for sosa for ratings so he snitched on him. He was like, yeah, I'm the one that, you know, hire, um, killing people for his ratings. And he said that Sosa would identify rivals in narcotics in his TV show. And then, you know, exposing them. This is what they do. This is like the drugs that they're doing and selling and stuff. And then after he airs that, he would call Moa and hire Moa to kill them. So it's like, oh. yeah, what? so it's like killing them for ratings and at the same time killing them because they are his rivals. For oh drugs. my God. <gasps> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So initially he denied ever meeting or knowing Moa. He said, I don't know anyone named Moa. But then the cops found a picture of him and Moa hanging out in his pool together. So. So then cops searched his home and found drugs, money, guns, ammunition, name it. They even searched his son's room and they found evidence in there. They said they also found a crumpled piece of paper on the floor they opened it, it looks like a hit list of these names. And four names that were in there are the recent victims that were just killed. Oh, so they arrested they arrested the son, um, Rafael Sosa, and some relatives that are involved in you know drugs and ammunitions and stuff. So at first, um, Sosa, while as Sosa, he was protected because of his title in politics. But then after he got impeached, he went into hiding. But he eventually turned himself in saying, no, somebody's trying to frame me because I found evidence and I am about to expose them. And now they're framing me and they're telling everybody that I'm the one who's killing and I'm not into drugs and this and that. So back in July to 27, 2010, Sosa died of a heart attack. It's weird because some articles, they said lung or not liver. They died because of um, his liver or something, but they said heart attack, so. But he passed huh. away. But his son, Raphael, he was sentenced for nine years in prison 
but he only served um, five years. So then he got released after that, after serving five years in the same prison, I believe Moa was serving his time too for homicide because, you know, he still killed people even though he was hired and Mm -hmm. even though he snitched, I don't know if he got like a better deal, right? Mm -hmm. So on January 1st, New Year's Day, 2017, in that prison, um, they're having like a party, like a New Year's party or whatever. And some guards even recalled hearing some of the inmates telling their families, their wives, their relatives and stuff like, okay, it's time for you guys to go now. Like the party wasn't even over yet. So they're like, okay, why? And as soon as the relatives kind of like left or, you know, in a safe place or something, a gang riot started. Like a very, mm. very violent, crazy <gasps> gang started um so the riot they said it lasted about 17 hours so inmates from different gangs um fighting each other some of them they're after moa because he snitched and he's about to give Mm -hmm. out i don't know they're scared that he's about to give out like some more big names Mm -hmm. you know what what did they say? Snitches get stitches, or mm-hmm. something. Yeah. Yeah. So the inmates wow. I was watching this video. It was, it's very very brutal. Like they um they caught videos and pictures and stuff because inmates they do have cell phones inside the prison and from the CCTV cameras. So they were recording uh-huh. the whole thing. They were stabbing people beating people to death um beheading people like super gruesome and super violent um yeah we can't post those violent pictures here on youtube but you guys can google them if you guys want to see but it's very very gruesome um and Mm -hmm. um yeah so finally, somebody found Moa. He That's was so shot. Weird. How do they do that in prison? How did... Yeah, and he was burned alive. So they even had a <gasps> CCTV showing that he was burning alive. Oh and my god! It was just—it was just so brutal. Like, oh my gosh, crazy. But That's to this terrible. day, Sosa's kids, they claim that their dad is still innocent. They say that even one of his kids saying, um, what kind of a crazy person would do something like that, kill people for ratings? But they said, I mean, you know, it's like 50-50 right now over there. Some people do believe in it. The rumors that he was he hired somebody to kill but some people say like no he can't possibly do that because they still have been it's kind of weird how he knew how they were murdered right yeah he would tell the reporters to go over there how did he know that exactly yeah because the reporters said like they would just get a phone call and say hey go to this place there's a murder in there it's a woman or it's a male and how do they know like these information even like the burning guy how did they know that it's a male no gunshots no stab wounds Mm -hmm. so i mean people do weird stuff for fame and for money so that's true possible it is possible but it's still 50 50 people believe it people don't but that's what happened. And when I, when I was watching the video um, about the riots, um, in, like in, in the prison, it was, it was crazy. It was just so graphic. Like people, like bodies on top of like bodies just bleeding to death. Some <gasps> were beheaded. Yeah. So. It's insane. That's terrible. I know you think it only happened in like the stories, but it can happen in real life. That seems like a movie. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Ugh. if you guys want to see the longer version, more detailed, more pictures, um, I think they do have a TV show on Netflix. It's called Killer Ratings. You guys can check it out oh. there. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. I was going to watch it, but I have to read it because it's in Spanish. I think. So, oh. But it looks interesting. Subtitles. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is our short but really crazy gruesome story for the day. So, I hope you guys liked it. If you guys want more information, like I said, don't miss it, so check it out. It's called Killer Ratings. But please, before you do that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And please turn on your notification bell so every time we upload twice a week, you will get notified and you can be the first one to come hang out with your favorite moms on YouTube. So that's all we have for today, guys. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.